towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking you on a tour of my back patio, which is where I am now. I have a bunch of plants out here and I thought it would be really cool to add more of that part of my life onto this page as well. I enjoy plants. I definitely consider myself a plant lady, as you can probably tell, especially once you watch this video. But we'll get into the video. I'll show you guys what I got going back here and um, yeah, if you have any questions and whatnot, post them below. But let's get into this video, you guys. This guy is a begonia macalata. I got this when it was like literally probably yay big. Also, this guy, a ficus alpisma. Beautiful, beautiful coloring. It's a ficus, so it's like a rubber tree. This is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera yet, but I'll zoom in, uh, a fried egg. Monstera adesoni. Oh, this guy. Itty bitty babies. These were like tiny when I first got them, and now this one is as tall as I am. It's as tall as I am. That is crazy. This guy's getting up there. I have always wanted a begonia tree. I have two of them now. Oh, I have three. I have another one inside, but these are my babies. I found this guy at Lowe's. It's a furry cactus. No idea what the name is, but it's like literally furry, which is super cool. Had to have that. Slowly having growth. I don't have the best luck with succulents and cacti. Not my forte, but this guy, he's doing well now that he's outside for the summer. This is a ZZ plant. It's just a regular green one. I love this guy. I've had him for quite a bit. Um, and again, put him outside just to get that humidity and see if he can grow even larger. My Raphidophora, oh my gosh. Y'all, I'll, 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 that's a separate clip for that guy. And then this is my third, uh, second one out here, but third begonia tree. I'll zoom in on that. We'll give you guys a, a zoom in for all of these because they're beautiful. And this one, this Raffi is definitely taller than I am. All right, I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show you how tall this Raffi is. Um, this thing was a tiny baby plant when I first got it. So it is thriving. I have already propagated it several times and I'll show you how cool it is because I literally just chopped the top off and I'll show you the growth that it got from me doing that. But let's get up. I'm almost six foot tall and this bad boy towers over me. But I'll zoom in so you guys can see how cool it is. So once I chopped the very, very top off, Right here you can see, once I chopped that, all this extra growth happened. This guy popped out, gave me a bunch of leaves over here, right? And then this guy shot out, gave me all these leaves over here, okay? And then this guy shot out over here, and gave me all those leaves up there. But not only that, the body of it shot a bunch of leaves, so growth point. Another growth point popping out. This whole thing, this, hold on, this guy, all new growth that popped out. Keep going, right? Growth point back there. Growth point. Growth point. I'm assuming there's probably more down there, but like that is so cool. So this thing is my pride and joy. Love this guy. And look at those leaves. Wow, beautiful. This is a ficus tanaki, very similar to the golden gem or the other ficus that I showed you, the altisma, except obviously the color variation is significantly different. And honestly, each leaf is always different, which is really, really cool, the variation of color. This is another alocasia. I think it has the pink stem, so I'm not sure if it's a poly or a... There's another name for one, but these are really cool. This one is most prone to spider mites for me, so it's rather annoying. You can see a little bit of the yellowing in the leaves. Um, I got rid of the spider mites for now, hopefully. But these are really neat just because the back is a very, very deep purple. This is a very deep green, light green, right? Looks really cool, and then like the pink stems. 
just kind of throws you off. Just an interesting plant to say the least. So I like that one a lot. I think I got this at Trader Joe's. It's another Pride and Joy. It's an alocasia. I am so excited to have this guy outside. He also got spider mites, so you can see a lot of the yellowing. This is the newest leaf. He is very, very happy now. Also has a leaf bud coming out right there. Super excited for that. This guy is a Cysis discolorus. I have not had luck with these, so I stuck him outside. He was literally this nub and that nub, like that was it. And uh, now, I mean, come on. Now he's this whole thing. He's, he's massive. Another smaller Tamaki out here. Got a new leaf coming out. Love it. Another alocasia. New leaf just unfurled the other day. Another alocasia. I love this one too. Alocasias are so fun because they're beautifully colored and like texturized, but they are a pain in the rear when they get spider mites or any infestation because they're prone to it. And then this guy was not doing well in the house. My Melanta stuck him out here. Loving it. Just loving it out here. Look at that. Healthy. This, this is my Hoya rope. And she was not, she didn't have any growth for quite a while, but this is all new growth up here, which is very, very nice to see. Um, because I chopped all the ends because she wasn't getting growth, so maybe I stimulated growth elsewhere. This is the first time I've ever had this plant. So, we're learning. And then this guy was a gift from my neighbor for Christmas. I forget the name of it, I know it's a prayer plant, but uh, I think it's a bunny ear maybe, I can't remember. But the variation of color on this is just incredible. Like, love it. Beautiful. Last but not least, the Monster Monstera. <laughs> this is the newest leaf it just put out. It's pretty massive for the newest leaf, which is nice because it's putting out another, it had just put out this leaf earlier and um, it, it got huge, so that's really cool. And then this little guy. Alrighty, you guys, that's gonna wrap up this video for the plant tour of my back porch. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you aren't missing more videos with me, and in the comments, drop your favorite plant that you saw. Um, I would be very, very interested in seeing which ones you guys like, but for now, that's gonna wrap it up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!